There's a fifth wheel attachment under the rear end of the Suburban, according to Battery Bob, to hook this trailer up. And I don't know quite how that works. Back up and I'll tie it in. <laughs> so you back up and you tie it in. Doug's taking a look at that. <laughs> Doug's a recent convert. Doug's yeah. from Post Falls, Idaho. Yeah. He does construction work over here. Yeah. Contracting work. He's been he's been volunteering his time here since when, Doug? Uh, about three, three months. months. Kevin. Three months now. Oh, this is Kevin. <laughs> I'm calling Kevin Doug. I just went to lunch with Kevin. Sorry about that, Kevin. I'm not that good with so names. So that fifth wheel, how it works, it's 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 underneath. Right. So the trailer goes, slides in, and pivots. It must have a long tongue, fifth yep. wheel tongue. It's hanging out under the garbage truck. Yeah. So it, it actually hinges like well, under might, where the they, gas they, tank they, they was. They took it off. Because they had multiple tongues for this trailer. You could use a pinnacle hook, a gotcha. ball hook, or that. You can't, you can't really appreciate this, folks, but there's a garage door on track that rolls down over the front to protect from rocks. You should get that shot. You can see it. Right All right. Let, right me, let me come in here. And if you could get down, see what that fifth wheel attachment is up there. That is innovative. <coughs> I wondered how the world he, he Here's a garage door. Now I know. Batteries. Quite the deal. That's in there. Probably sitting underneath it. And here's the racks of cars that go on and on. 330 feet long. 330 feet long, folks. Three levels of cars. There's over a hundred cars on each rack. No, on this, on the whole rack. On the whole side. So you got over a hundred cars on this side. There's, yeah, about 33 racks, something like that. So there's what? On, including the cars on the floor, there's what, about 300 cars in here? Not quite? Vehicles, yeah. I never tried to count them. Never tried to. This is the professional LeMay Museum and they have never tried to count the cars in here. So there's somewhere around 250, 300 cars. I have, there's other people that have. There's other people that have. Battery, Battery Bob doesn't concern himself with things such as that. No, my cars are just in here. His cars are in here. That is mine, that Citron's mine, that Volvo's mine. <laughs> right here that we're looking at. Yeah, yeah. But that when, that when I leave, they stay. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to sit down and have an interview with Battery Bob. He's going to tell about his relationship with Harold LeMay. <clears throat> so we're going to do that right now. We're going to go into the uh, into the heated hooch here, and we're going to the Model T garage. This is Battery Bob's Model T Garage. Here we go. A while back, and I called him yesterday because I was dropping off in Bellevue, Washington, this 62 Buick Skylark convertible. And he couldn't be here today because he's a working guy, but he said, you gotta talk to Battery Bob. And ironically, I was in downtown Tacoma a few weeks ago at the Buick dealership that I shot a few videos of that was built in 48 and Walter there said Battery Bob that was one of his buildings across the street so it's, I'm hearing about Battery Bob and I gotta meet Battery Bob and I'll tell you ever since I was here and first visited this is where I can connect with Harold LeMay this is a 74 Suburban Bob what year is it? 74. This was Harold LeMay's hauler. For and you, a while. For a while. You can see the front grill is gone. Because he did that so he could get increased cooling. That's the trailer in the background that he pulled it with. Battery Bob knew Harold LeMay going back to what? 77? Oh no. 60. 
His his truck lived in our yard during the Second World War. His truck lived in your yard during the Second World War. Well, so you I knew did, him. Well, I didn't know him then. I knew I knew who he was. You all. knew you knew who he was. We became friends, I think, in about 1960. So you've been friends. I was born in 1960. <laughs> Hell, we're talking so, 60 so, years. So was my youngest or my oldest daughter. <laughs> Here's the suburban. Here's a picture of Harold. I don't know if Harold's in that picture. Well, this is a Suburban hooked up yeah, yeah. to this trailer that we see behind us. Yeah. Oh, he's going to open the door. Oh, he's going to open the door. It's nothing fancy. I, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. Look at that spotlight. Yeah. Yeah. It's nothing fancy. Look at that shifter. Uh, that's too, more, more gears. Oh, he had a uh, gear splitter, yeah. overdrive in there. Look at that! You could you could open the top. The top went up. The top went up. Did he camp in this? Oh, sleep yeah. in it? Yeah, he's sleeping in he it. He slept in it. He would if he had to. God, you gotta love Harold LeMay. <laughs> I love Harold LeMay. I never got to meet him. Again, this is the trailer. One of the trailers that he would pull. The trailer behind here is the only one. Well, he's moved trailers, but that's what he went and placed them with. And he can't really get that good of a look at it. But you get the idea that Harold wasn't necessarily concerned. Just to give you a shot of all of these. Just this one room. Look at these trucks. And what are we looking at here? This. We're looking at 46 Chevrolet 3100. Okay. This is stock. Now, what do we got here on the end? This is a uh, GMC pickup, GMC 150. Now, this is a three quarter touch. Most of my house. Right. Okay, and then we got a another Chevy there. Wow. The cameo bed, that bed is fiberglass. Fiberglass bed, factory. Factory. They're step size. Now, what, what year was this? This the, is a 58. A 58 with a fiberglass body. Wow. Around the bed. Around the bed. It's wow. The bed, around the bed and the fiberglass. And then there was that Dodge Little Red Express. That's kind of cool there. And again, look at this shot here, folks. There's a little Red Express. There's that fiberglass body on that truck. Yes. Fiberglass bed body. Just bed the, body, right. Just the bed. Right, just the bed. And in 58, too. And this is three quarter ton of uh, 90T here. So, right, to put this in perspective, folks, this was the shooting range for the cadets. So they would shoot from here, back here, and shoot north, over to here. Uh, south, if I said north, I'm mistaken. Oh, okay, they would shoot in a southerly direction. I gotta tell you, that's a pretty handsome Dodge right there, but then that International, geez, was 600 and some original miles. I got to think, this this thing here, just that right there, I mean, it, it doesn't look like they restored it, right? They didn't paint it or anything. It's right. probably original. Absolutely. This has got to be, this is this right here, it's got to be 75 to 100, right, at least, because I was watching Dennis, the guy that goes with Richard Rollins, and he went to an auction, and he paid, it's nothing like this. They paid like 75, I mean, this is like. Well, I watch him eat yeah, you know. These, I mean, these are a big deal. The scouts, international scouts. Well, look at deal. that with the cut. You can't because they were all rusted out. They're like the Broncos, but they have six hundred and some original miles too. Broncos That's like are a big deal, but all of them are. Big well, deal. the scouts are real, real, real rare. I mean, I, I I mentioned that, folks, because monetary value is only significant to me with historical value, concurrent, and it just shows just in this one room. The, the exceptional historical collection, which somehow, you know, or sometimes is commensurate with monetary value, but it just shows, you know, 
what Mr. LeMay collected. Okay, we're going to come back out of here. Now, is there anything else in this building that you think we should see? No, not sir. Okay. This is kind of our this room back here. is our maintenance room. Where we carry all our tools and stuff in here. So, for mini maintenance. And yes, well, I mentioned it in this building. With the orphan room, before we come down here, we want to go over to the orphan room. Okay. And these... You already mentioned the Corvair uh, ramp truck and this Dewey. They were purchased at the, the March of uh, only January, but this uh, this uh, Scott Steel was March. Oh, so these are recent acquisitions? Yes. Really? You know, I ran across, it's the only example I ever saw. I was fueling in Kansas, and a guy they had a double ramp side. He had a, a, a drop on this side, too. Oh, so we're going into... We call the orphan room because... Morning. Morning. Because this was orphan cards. They're almost... Every, every, there's so many weeks now. Right. So then you'll find... Uh, they get so many of them. How you doing? We do have a couple of mine. Orphan nine. So... Oh, heck, come on. These are all orphan... Automobile they, and they are not. It was originally oh. intended to be that way. Oh, intended to be that way, but then it became something else. Okay, so I'm going to go over here because people are talking about their reminiscence of Harold LeMay. And this is interesting to just sit and watch and learn about Mr. LeMay. There's Mr. LeMay right there. And this is what I remember. He looks like a sea captain to me. So these are fun to watch. Okay, so you tell me kind of what we're looking at here. This looks like... This one is formerly known by Peter Lawford. Wow. You see the picture right here of the Rat Pack. There's four members of the Rat Pack. I think there were seven. And they say originally that many as seven owned one of these things here. So they all own the same model. They own they owned one of these. But here's the thing. I, well, I can't find the exact two. Debbie right. Reynolds, who wasn't a man, she owned one of these two at one time. Wow. So I've heard a different story on who owned that. But, uh, this one owned a Peter Walker, you can see him in the picture. Okay. And Sam Davis Jr., you can see him in the picture here, owned this Stutz black car. So Sammy owned the Stutz. Now looking up above to take advantage of, what is that that we're looking at there? This is a Noah pack. It's nothing really but a Subaru. A gentleman there modified it. He put a Naga hide cover on it and called it a no pack. Okay, and then what is that thing next to it? The 87 Alfa Romeo. Okay. The only theme here, these are almost all, all foreign. I think we might have a couple of Americans in it, all foreign. Okay. 99 Yugo. Okay. 65 Sun, Sun Mean Alpine. Okay, and then the one next to that there is a... This is a Beardmore uh, Paramount Taxi. Doug uh, bought this recently, or not recently, about 10 years ago at an auction held here. So, it, How, How'd you guys end up with a DeLorean? Uh, my understanding is uh, we had a DeLorean donated to the museum downtown. Okay. Doug was still interested, so he went out and bought this, for exactly maybe maybe eight years ago. He wanted DeLorean since the one was donated downtown. Okay. It was donated when Harold, or after Harold passed away on there. So Doug may want the DeLorean. We got a Ferrari here? We have the Ferrari. What year is this? It's an 80 Ferrari, and then next to that, <laughs> this is what I love about this. Yeah, but you got the 80 Ferrari next to the DeLorean, and then you got this thing, which is like, come on. <laughs> is this an actual production car? I'm not sure how many they made here. Price new Oh my goodness. This did not take off. And we got a Volkswagen bus up there and a Volkswagen thing. I can That's recognize those. 
170 of them were made. Were made. Yeah, I just don't. <laughs> I don't get that front clip, you know. And but it just shows you got a Ferrari, and then you got that. And then what are we looking at here? Okay. Very expensive car, but you have a door to get into the rumble seat and Chrysler here. Wow. So. I've never heard of such a thing. So you actually had a door to access. And, and you'll see the second door back here. Can you see it? Or okay. No, but I'm... You're, I'm, you're over on the, this one. We're back to the Chrysler. Oh, oh okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. See, oh, there. yeah. Look at the door for the rumble seat back yeah. there, folks. Okay, so that's the Chrysler and it had a door to the rumble seat. Okay. 32 Chevrolet BA Confederate, real top of the line. You think Psh, of, boy, no kidding. You think of more expensive, you know, even Pontiac, Buick. But anyhow, this is very expensive for dressed out uh, Chevrolet. Boy, that's pimped out. Okay. And then we got a 30 Pierce Arrow. 30 Pierce Arrow, again, what ornament? It's the Archer. Let's back up here so we can get this full. And now, what do we got above the Pierce Arrow? Above the Pierce Arrow, this is Bedford. This is a this is a van. This is English. Okay. And then next to that, with the Bob license plate, what what's that thing? Uh, to the right of that. You're back over here. Yeah, right? that right. My that. Helmet. Oh, okay. It's a helmet. And then what do we got there? And then here we have. A 25 Scots Roadster. All right. This is one of the few that uh, Doug Letts, Pete, some some volunteers, and this happens to be an acquaintance of uh, these high-end cars here, and this that happens to be one of them. But this is. Uh, He'll let people drive. No, he just let the, it's on loan. It's static here. Oh, okay. It's on loan. He's courtesy of, but this is. And then what are we looking at next to that? This is a 35 Chevrolet EC standard. If you take a look at it, it is right hand drive. This was made in South Africa. All right, and then above that, what do we got? We have a 55 Rover. Rover. Well, that's a Rover. And then we have, is that an electric car? This is an electric car, an 80 Vanguard commuter car, electric. Then we got a Jag. <clears throat> We got another Jag. We actually have three Jags, no, two Jags and a Citron. God, that Citron's beautiful. Isn't that just beautiful? Isn't that just a beautiful car? Yeah, uh, Doug has been buying, this is a late purchase, lately purchase, few of these Citrons. I, I just find that, I, I find that oddly appealing. I, I don't know, that's just me. Okay, and then above we've got. We've got a French car here, Matra Simca. Okay. It's a race car. The, the body underneath is enclosed. And then this is a 61 NSU Prince. And that's a German. Okay.